tonight um, with the guys heading off to open studio, but you guys must be pretty happy with the way you ground that one out and got back in the winter. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to get a win. So, I mean, obviously Canberra have been um, playing really good basketball this season at the back end of it. And we haven't been playing so well the last couple of weeks. So, obviously, it's uh, good for us to get back on the on the winner's list tonight. How, or I guess, what's the last couple of weeks like, or this last week like in terms of turning back? Yeah, I mean, we're just um, getting back to basics, really, this week for us. It's getting back to doing the things we know we can do well. Um, and, you know, we just went yeah right back to the start, I guess, of... We're trying to execute well offensively and defend the way we know we can defend and you know we've still got a lot of improvement to do but that was the focus for us for the week and you know, I think definitely at the offensive end we came out tonight and we're much better than we have been. It's a bit of a weird one now with this break and then a couple of weeks before finals, how crucial was that one just to yeah, I mean, every time you play, it's probably crucial to get a win, and this one just takes a bit of that pressure off, I guess. You know, it's you know, considering the way we've played and the two losses we've had the last couple of games, it definitely takes a bit of pressure off us to get a win tonight. And you know, it's such a good comp that you've got to roll in every week and and bring your A game to get a win. So you know, yeah, I mean, it's definitely much better than losing like we had the last couple. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, kudos to them. They had a great game. They didn't make it easy for us tonight. Um, and I think that's why they are such a hard team to play. They're scrappy. They're full of energy. Um, yeah, so they're not, sometimes they're not easy to scout. You never know what they're going to do. So um, they did a great job of coming out with energy tonight. And I think they had a great game. Guys, um, I guess, heard about getting back to the basics. Um, does it feel like you ticked off the objectives this weekend? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, kind of like Marcus said, the past couple of weeks we haven't been playing our best basketball. We haven't been playing Townsville fire basketball. So um, I think tonight was better. I think we can still improve and get back to how we were playing um, earlier on in the season. So definitely still have things to improve on and that we can do better. But I think we're on the right track. I guess you coach a couple of key players for the next couple of weeks. What do you do while they're away to keep the momentum going? Yeah, I mean, obviously we, we, we focus on just, again, we're training hard, being competitive and doing what we can while Shannon and Steph and Sammy are away. So, you know, like we're not really going to stop. Um, everything stays the same for us and the expectations on the players and the, the coaching staff, everything stays the same for the next couple of weeks because there's not a lot of turnaround time once they're back to, to finish the season off and get into finals. So, so it's tease with Alice Koenig tonight. Suiting up, so she's obviously that close to coming back. Yeah, she's pretty close. You know, we would hope that after this fever window that she's back playing, and you know, it obviously depends how she goes over the next couple of weeks. She's been doing some competitive stuff, and we hope that that'll build up in the next couple of weeks, and she'll be back. It's a nice ace to just slot into the hand. <laughs> come finals time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, Alice is a really good player, and you know, we've we've missed that as well as you know, Zowie B's out for us as well. So obviously, there's a few things that we've got to you know, um, cover while those two are out. But yeah, if we can get Alice back, um, that'd be fantastic, obviously, for us. Thanks, guys. Billy, it's been a, a pretty tough few days, the fight the girls show you, I guess, especially in that last quarter, to peg that back. You must be pretty proud of that. Yeah, I mean, the fight from quarter one all the way through quarter four, like, I know they've got a margin on there, and that can look a certain way from the outside, but their fight throughout the game, their contributions, their willingness to, to problem solve uh, and stay in, in it throughout the game was, was excellent. What, um, what have you taken from these few days on the road um, that you can kind of build into these really next couple of weeks? Is there much to take away from such oh. a country? Yeah, always. Um, with such a, a young group, everything is an opportunity to, to learn and grow and get better, um, to get more reps, to discover what isn't working for us, where we need to evolve, um, where we need to make changes. Uh, so every yeah, every time we, we front up, whether it's a win, loss, draw, we play well, we don't play well, someone has a night out, somebody you know, we stink, whatever it might be, the rest go our way, all that kind of stuff is an opportunity for us to, to seize and, and to explore in, in how we get better. So yeah, the road has been challenging, but it definitely exposed some things that we needed to address um, and we did that and so coming out tonight, we, for the first time in a couple of weeks, looked authentic New Era caps, um, and that's a huge credit to girls. This is wild. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you love talking about the person sitting next to you. Uh, the way that Gemma's been building into this 
season, confident she can do the day for a game every time she gets out of court to see her have a performance like this. What's that mean? Oh, it's huge, um, and in, in on so many levels, uh, being happy for her, being proud of her, um, you know, being excited for her, uh, all the emotions, uh, which, you know, Gemma, we don't always <laughs> say them with and in front of Gemma, but it's important that she knows how we feel. I think the whole team is, you know, 100% Gemma's fan group and to, to watch her overcome obstacle after obstacle um, and get better and have some personal success but also what she's been doing for the team this whole way through um, through all of that has been nothing short of uh, amazing and we couldn't be more proud yeah it's pretty special um, I'd really now since I was 15 years old so I've been able to grow up as a human but also as a player so pretty lucky to go through this with her and know that I have her on and off the court to support me and yeah, those words I probably already know but it's nice to hear. Yeah. To, like, I guess to see it all coming together for you, does it feel like every game you're, you're building a bit more, you're getting your touch back or is it a thing coming back to you? Yeah, definitely a confident, confidence thing. Um, tonight was the first game I made a left hand layup so <laughs> that was nice courtesy of Mick, I think she pulled out but yeah, little things like that that people probably don't notice but still are hard things to overcome with an injury just because you're out there playing doesn't mean you don't face those, I guess, triggers in some way. So slowly getting over them each game and I think, yeah, tonight was a great step just to know that I can do it. You're pretty happy to have a little bit of a break now after that road trip? Yeah, three days and six days is brutal. But, um, yeah, go on the Gold Coast for the break so it'll be good to get some time away and then come back and regroup with the, with the girls.